somebody suggested to me that I should join the military. And I was like, you're crazy. Like, do I look like somebody who would be in the military? A week later, I ended up at a recruiting office. I talked to every single branch and the Marine Corps was the one that really stood out to me because from the moment that I walked into the Marine Corps office, it felt like home, it felt like family. I graduated with my bachelor's degree on Friday, May 12th, and I left for Marine Corps boot camp on Monday, May 15th. Joining the military was a shock to everybody, all of my friends, all my family members. I actually was told by several people that I wasn't even gonna make it through boot camp. I think when you first go to boot camp, you immediately think, oh my God, what did I do? <laughs> um, because everyone's just yelling at you, you don't know where to go, you don't know left from right. But very quickly in boot camp, I actually fell in love with it. I love being surrounded by other people with like minds that are all doing this with me. Like I was so lost just a couple months ago and now I know what I want to do and I'm going to make a career out of this. After I'd say about four or five weeks in, I started having pain in my right foot. I did the Marine thing and I sucked it up. My instructor noticed that I was falling out of formation runs. Let's take an MRI because this isn't right. No doctor had ever heard of a tumor in the foot and it was engulfed throughout my entire foot. So it like went through the bones and it's all the soft tissue. So for the next 14 months, they tried everything to try to shrink it, to try to remove it. And unfortunately that led to a lot of infections and a lot of hospitalizations, a lot more surgeries. It really messed with my psyche this entire time. I fell into a really bad depression. I said, how many more times are we gonna do this before we're just gonna amputate anyways? And my doctor looked at me and said, I give it another five to 10 years. And at that point, I was 22 years old, and I said, cut it off now. Being told that I'm going to get my leg amputated, for some people sounds like the craziest thing for me to say this, but it was the best day of my life. And on April 2nd, 2019, I amputated my right leg below the knee, and it was the start of a new life that I was very hopeful for at the time, but I never imagined how good it was going to be. How's it feel? It feels a lot better not being attached to anything. The day I lost my leg, my goals were to snowboard again and to dance again. I was able to snowboard at eight months post amputation for the first time. As much as I loved snowboarding, I was always in pain when I snowboarded. And there were days that I would drive all the way to the mountain and I only get three runs in because my leg hurt so bad. I skied for the first time and I fell in love with it. And I'm like, this is amazing. I can be out on the mountain doing everything that I want to do without having the pain of wearing my prosthetic leg. Somebody from the NAC, Orlando, ran into me and he's like, come join the NAC team. I think you're really going to like it. When you leave the military, you lose that sense of family and that sense of community that pretty much every military member knows about. The camaraderie within the military is like nothing else on planet Earth. I think we're all looking for that sense of belonging again that we had in the military. And I have found that at the National Ability Center. From the moment that I joined the team, the team was my family. I was welcomed in right off the bat. That's something that really helped with me mentally. Since losing my leg five years ago, I've done almost everything I want to do, but ballet is the one thing I can't do. And that's something that I still struggle with to this day. Even though I can't do ballet in its traditional form, I find little pieces of ballet in everything that I do. The balance it takes to be a three-track skier roots in my years of balancing on one leg as a ballerina. The three core values of being a Marine are honor, courage, and commitment. And I feel like I still carry that with me being an athlete. I have to have the commitment, the drive, the dedication to train and be an athlete. I have to have the courage to do what a lot of people can't do. Hopefully one day my name be associated with Team USA and knowing that I am representing my country as a US citizen on Team USA. I think that comes with a lot of honor. Being with the National Ability Center and on their high performance ski team is what is going to get me to the Paralympics one day. The NAC was the best decision I could have made for my career and for my future life because it gives me the community I was looking for. It gives me the goals that I've been trying to strive for and gives me an overall sense of happiness. I love being at the NAC and just being with my family.